hi everyone in this video i am going to explain about current time based generators till now we have seen voltage time based generators that means we have drawn the graph between time and voltage okay so based upon the input voltage conditions the capacitor charges and discharges in the previous cases so that we are taking across the capacitor the output is taken across the capacitor and we have measured voltage there so voltage x uh, versus time period there but now we are going to calculate the time with respect to the current with respect to time that means the output now is a current okay so we are using current as an output and we are going to draw current versus time previously it was voltage versus time so in in case of current we have to use an inductor instead of capacitor okay so whenever we are talking about voltage uh, voltage then capacitor is to be required because capacitor is a storage element that stores the energy in the form of electric field but whereas when you are talking about current current is nothing but it is related to a coil inductance so when current passes through that the uh, coil is used to store the energy in the form of magnetic field okay so whenever a current flows through this the magnetic field is developed across the inductor now in current time base generator or we can say a sweep a current sweep circuits sweep circuit for currents need an inductor as a storage element see here this is the circuit diagram see input is applied vb input is applied at the base of the transistor we are using a single transistor here now at the collector that means at output we can say at the collector we are having an inductor in between vcc and the collector across which we are having a resistor rd and capital d you know which is nothing but a diode okay so when the transistor is in off state listen here when the transistor is in off state that means when there is no input a positive input applied when transistor is in off state the inductor is not having any charging path if any previous charge is there that is discharged through this diode and again this uh, rotates in the same loop but when a positive going pulse is applied at the base of the transistor q then transistor comes into on state because it is having sufficient input voltage then the transistor comes into on state as the as this transistor is in on state now the current il inductor current il flows from vcc through l and then so the on resistance of this transistor okay on resistance we generally take the on resistance as rcs okay collector to uh, ground or collector to emitter we can take rce and the what happens now inductor inductor charges some current is flowing through this inductor again when the input goes down and uh, when transistor comes into off state the uh, coil which has been charged previously again discharges through the on transistor of each see here during on of the um, q during on period of the q diode is in off state because the current directly goes downwards there is no current entering into the diode p, p type terminal then the diode comes into off state so that's why there is only charging path but when the transistor is in off state diode comes into off because there comes into on because the current is going like this okay so if you take the output waveform input waveforms 
see this is the input waveform we are applying at the input of the first transistor one transistor and when t is equal to 0 transistor comes into on state then the current flows through the inductor this is the linear response of the current that is flowing through the inductor okay we are taking the output across inductor so the charging and discharging of the inductor gives the output so see here if you take the current pulse il see il is the pulse that is i am showing here that il inductor current waveform that il increases in a linear fashion till the maximum value until you reach t is equal to tg nothing but end of the positive peak in the input cycle when there is a sudden fall in the input again transistor comes into off state so uh, inductor now discharges towards zero inductor discharges what is the discharging path the discharging path is nothing but through the diode and then rd this loop will be continued until the entire voltage goes down but here if you observe there is no sweep there is no linearity during the reverse uh, during discharging period it's a non-linear signal okay to get the linearity in this again we are going for one more uh, modification of the same circuit we'll see in the next video okay so uh, if you say the output voltage VC or collector voltage VC from collector to emitter, when the capacitor, when the inductor is in charging, the output voltage across VC set is very small voltage, which is VC set. And again, when the transistor comes into off state, there is a sudden increment in the uh, current. That's why ILRD is uh, the amount additionally added to the VCC okay so if you take the current that is flowing through the inductor the current flows through inductor so il is equal to 1 by l integral vcc dt that is equal to VCC T by L. This is the inductor current IL. Now, let RCS represents represents the collector saturation current saturation resistance the collector saturation resistance of the transistor the current increases The current increases in accordance with in accordance with the equation in accordance with the equation see that is il is equal to vcc by rl plus rcs VCC by RL plus RCS. What is RL? RL is the internal resistance of the inductor. Where RL is internal resistance of inductor. Nothing but a load. So, IL is equal to VCC by RL plus RCS. RCS is the collector saturation resistance okay vcc by rl plus rcs into 1 minus see here we will we are having the along with this 1 minus e power minus of 
RL plus RCS into T by L. So if you expand this, it is 1 minus RL plus RCS divided by L into T plus 1 by 2 minus of RL plus RCS into T by L whole square and so on. That is equal to if we neglect the higher order terms R plus RCS See, here VCC into T by L, this one, if you are taking this up to here, 1 minus 1 it is cancelled. So, RL plus RCS, RL plus RCS, these two cancel. So, L is left over here and T. So, 1 minus 1 by 2. RL plus RCS into T by L. So, if the current increases linearly, if the current increases linearly, If the current increases linearly to a maximum value, to a maximum value IL, the slope error is given by the slope error is given by Es is equal to, we know the formula V by Vs, Vs by V. Il by Vcc by Rl plus Rcs, that is equal to Rl plus Rcs into Il divided by Vcc. So, the inductor current waveform and the waveform at the collector of the transistor, we have seen here these two. So, to maintain linearity, the voltage RL plus RCS into IL across the total circuit resistance must be kept small compared to the voltage supply VCC. So, to maintain linearity, always our aim is to maintain the linearity. So, to maintain linearity, The voltage, this is resistance into current, nothing but voltage, RL plus RCS into IL across the total, across the total circuit resistance. across the total circuit resistance must be kept small, must be kept small compared to the supply voltage, compared to the supply voltage VCC compared to the supply voltage VCC. Okay. So, always our aim is to uh, try the linearity to get the linearity. So, in order to achieve that linearity, we are doing all these modifications. So, next video, I will tell a little more change in this current uh, sweep circuit. So, linearity correction through adjustment of the driving waveform. So, in the driving waveform, if we change the uh, correction then we will get some more linearity which is not there in the current uh, circuit.
ओके थैंक यू